he like followed me from all the way up there so ecuador has a digital nomad visa and i thought why not go to ecuador and reap the benefits of this digital nomad visa i heard a lot of great things about ecuador so i decided to travel there for two weeks to see what city i would like to move to things i'm going to be checking for is what city isn't polluted the cost of living there what are the people like and is it safe so join me in my venture to figure out to what city i would Move but to. this is a big problem i literally have like only two weeks to figure this out i don't know why i look grumpy <laughs> I probably didn't sleep well and I'm at the airport bought some Starbucks because I had to wait for my PCR test for you to get into Ecuador you need a PCR test and yeah <laughs> when I can't breathe I put my hoodie over my face and take my mask off I guess it's kind of the same right like I'm not like hurting anyone anyway well it works Finally made it, just trying to get the free Wi-Fi here so I can get an Uber. I don't even know if they have Uber here, but... Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just put my contacts in. I've been avoiding looking out the window so I can get my first expressions. Oh, wow. Oh my God, look at the random snowy mountain. Whoa, this is amazing. Look how big those mountains are. Okay, I have to tell you guys, it is frio aqui. I don't like the cold that much here. If you're not a winter person, you're probably not gonna like this. I'm definitely not a winter person. And I would say it's all right. It's not too bad, you know? If I'm in the sun, I'm good, but it does get cold here, okay? It gets chilly, I can imagine. If I was out at night with no sun, how cold it's gonna get? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Another thing you're gonna notice here is the elevation. Like, walking here is a lot. I'm like, oh, oh, oh my goodness. And all I did was walk like a couple of steps, man. Okay, so I'm gonna have my first vegan meal here. Let's see how much it is. Is it gonna be expensive or affordable? Hola. Oh my god, all this is vegano? Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is heaven for me. <laughs> okay, okay. And by the way, this is all in US dollars. It's pretty average. It's quite good. Like in the States, it would be like 10 bucks maybe even more this was four dollars and twenty cents okay so another thing that's really cool about this place is that ubers are super cheap they're like a dollar to get to like another part of the city for well, i don't know about another part but i just walked 17 minutes and took a taxi back an uber back so you can work out how long that would be and it was honestly just a dollar something i know in la to go up the road it's like ten dollars twelve dollars just notice there's a lot of cheap options here not that i would eat some of this food but yeah 350 275 okay so it's like midday so i had to keep you guys updated the weather's actually not that bad it's kind of like atlanta when it starts to get winter it's like it won't make up its mind kind of thing but it's not like in the morning and night, yeah, it's a little bit colder, but then during the day, it gets a little bit warmer. And I noticed like some people are not even wearing winter clothes. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> so it does get warm in here, which is good. So I like that so far. So Quito is pretty much a modern city. The people are really cool there. Everyone's friendly. I'm not a fan of the weather at all. <laughs> it's too cold for me. So I met a friend who took me to a really nice restaurant. While we were there, he was telling me what towns I should visit and see because the town I was going to visit, he said it's going to be hella cold up there because it's more further in the mountains. So I decided to go more down towards Cuenca. No sé lo que me está pasando Siento que alguien me está llamando Baby, 
So this time around, I picked the most cheapest Airbnb. Just, well, not the cheapest cheapest, but a decent cheap and still look good at the same time. So I was like, okay, this place is good. Let me show you around. Cost $170, okay? And this place is super, super clean. Oh my God, what is that? There's the bathroom, dinner table. Customer service was really good. The guy was really friendly. Here is the living room. I actually didn't realize it, but this place comes with two bedrooms and one bedroom has a bathroom. I didn't really read the thing correctly, I guess. I think it was in Spanish, but this place is actually two bedroom. Now, let me show you outside. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm in Medellin or something. Like just the bar wire, the bricks, you know, it's just... I'm like, is this place safe? <laughs> so I'm gonna let you know later on in the day if this if I feel safe in this place. So far, I feel like safe, nothing bad or anything. It's pretty gated. So yeah. I really love the little small touches of like candy here and there. <laughs> so far, it seems really cool here. It doesn't seem like free or like cold like Quito is. I feel like this town has a little bit more warmth to it, but I'm still, once I go out today, I'm gonna see how that really is and what it really feels like. Now, I'm gonna put my phone away just because I don't feel 100% safe in this town. You know, you just walk somewhere and you just have that feeling. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna put my phone away now and I'll bring it out when I feel comfortable. If you're fit like me, you know the gym is important. So I'm gonna check out the gym here in this town and there's a lot of them and see if it's good. Okay, right now it is really warm and I'm loving it. Like my body's starting to sweat in little places. This is the type of heat that I want. I'm glad that this town isn't too like cold nor is it overly hot. It's kind of in a sweet area. It's still cold at night, which sucks, but it's not too bad. It's something I can cope with. Now I end up going to this other restaurant and the food there tastes amazing. And the cost of it was pretty low too. Like for a hamburger, it was like a dollar eighty. You like leave me alone. Now I end up catching the electric tram to downtown. You could walk there, it will probably be like a 30 minute walk, but it's like a dollar and it takes you down there. And it was really beautiful seeing the town and just what they had to offer. The food was amazing and it was overall beautiful to check out the scenery. And right now I'm going to another city, Guayaquil, and this will be my first time catching a bus to another town. So I really wanna know what it's like. Some of my friends said it's dangerous, it's risky but i'm so down it's gonna only take three hours i'm sure it's like the mexico bus trip so let's see what happens the bus was pretty interesting they have like a whole tv in there that you can watch stuff even play games the aircon did not work and it was quite hot in there a little bit warm until later on and on the way there it was literally three hours beautiful scenery beautiful mountains but then I forgot that I have motion sickness really bad and I had to like look out the window to see far distance until I noticed we were heading into the mountains of fog and I couldn't see far distance and it got really bad and I got more sick. Now these buses are no joke. They be speeding in the mountains, man. And then we finally made it to like straight roads, flat roads ground it was oh my god it felt so good i still felt emotional sickness really badly and we were finally making our way to guy kill but i noticed that it was polluted like it looked foggy and that was due to just pollution this is due to i guess 
a lot of traffic, high population, so a lot of cars. Now, obviously, I love the heat there. It's nice and hot. And some days you were lucky you could actually see the sky because some days you couldn't. And I think that was due to pollution. But Ecuador as well is cloudy a lot. I've noticed like not every day you're going to see the sun. As well as that, there was a lot of restaurants that locked the doors and you had to knock to get in due to it being so dangerous. Now, nothing really bad happened to me, but I got followed. The people are persistent here. Someone kept begging me for money. He like followed me from all the way up there. I'm like, look, I don't have no money. Like, leave me alone. He's like, I sex you. I'm like, you are to escort there. He goes, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, go find clientele. Like, go find clientele, escort there, get you to Nero. Like, oh, he was so annoying. And I was like, yo, do I have to fight this dude? But he was like flirting at the same time. He was very annoying. I was like, yo, like, go bother someone else. I'm so glad he's gone. I had to like really stand my ground and be like, stop. Like, leave me alone. Especially down this area because it's more scarier down here. So I don't want to get him try to jump me or some shit. I end up staying in a really cute Airbnb. It had a kitchen, table, bedroom, walking room, closet, bathroom. A little study area for me to put my laptop and edit videos that I needed to edit. And it was like kind of in the heart of Guayaquil. Okay, so let me quickly show you guys something. Some chocolate vegan thing, maple syrup, protein shake, pancake, a chicken sandwich. It was all down to $26. Basically, one, two, three. 26 divided by three. Maybe that's not a lot. Let me know. In the comments i think it's less than usa because usa that would probably be easy 12 bucks especially a vegan meal this may be 10 bucks i feel like here is a little bit higher than other places now i end up messing up my dates of when i was heading to my next city so i had to get a hostel because my airbnb didn't have any extra days and it was all right it was a small little room aircon had a bathroom with no warm water. And this was the only room with AC, by the way, because it got hot. During the night, I'm not going to lie, it was actually not that hot. So I actually didn't have any AC on at all. And yeah, it was pretty nice. Had a pool. You can also um, order food there. And it was like a plant-based hostel restaurant type of thing. So it was pretty cool. Now, due to me being a motion sickness for like three days after that bus ride, I refused to get another bus even though it was so cheap i decided to catch a plane to manta okay so this place is amazing guys got a dinner table there office desk where i can work my bed kitchen with things that you need fridge microwave a closet to put your things in with some extra stuff here. Uh, what else does it have? Bathroom. Here's the shower. Let's have a look. Oh my god. I like this place. Basically, they have uh, every visa. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Now, the food here is amazing, but I have to say that in Manta, Food costs a lot more higher, and I don't know if that's because of all the expats moving in here, but it costs higher, and there's not a lot of plant-based options here. It is very gloomy. It's very cloudy here, just like the, video, the, the videos of people that visit Quaker. Like, you think it'll be nice and sunny, but it's very much cloudy. I don't know why Ecuador seems to be like that in a lot of areas i guess it's where it is on the planet i don't know okay so this is the beach it's not playing the comet <laughs> but it's cool it's cool i really <laughs> i came here for the heat not really the beach and <laughs> it got rocks and shit i don't want to step by cut my foot on that <laughs> It kind of reminds me of LA, like like the brown sand type of look. Now, while exploring Manta, it has a lot of things, a lot of 
comfort things that you guys will have back at home in America or Australia. What I did notice though was that a lot of stores were closed and according to the friend that I made there, he told me it was due to the COVID situation and everything just started to open up but a lot of places were closed but a lot more places actually opened up at night so it was just really strange i guess like i guess maybe during the day a lot of places are closed and then when it comes to like thursday friday a lot of places start to open up oh my god today's actually a beautiful day no clouds so I end up going to a vegan restaurant that only opened at a particular time here in Manta and it's legit the only one that showed up on Google Maps. And the food was actually quite good, man. I don't know what that was, but I ate it anyway. So I had apple juice, a soup, and that other meal. All of that was like, I think, 4 to $3 around there. So it was time for me to go back to Mexico. And I can say that I really enjoyed visiting Ecuador. And I could probably see myself living here for at least a year or a couple of months while traveling to other places in South America. So I want you guys in the comments, let me know what city do you think I chose out of the four cities that I visited. And I'll let you guys know in the next video. Peace.